With 2K24 coming out, a lot of y'all don't know how to dribble and it's really showing. That's why I'm here and I'm gonna help y'all out with a quick little dribble touch. Y'all know I'm always good at dribbling. Even this year, I've already pretty much mastered most of the stuff. I even got my player up to a 92 already. So yeah, I can dribble. Now shooting, don't, God, this shooting is terrible. So don't ask me about any jump shots anytime soon. But I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all like different places you can go and practice your dribble moves because there's no my court on next gen. Give you all the SIGs that I got, even though you can literally check people's player cards now and see their SIGs. You know, at the end of the day, show you exactly how to do the moves. So without further ado, I'm gonna stop wasting time. Let's try to hit 100,000 subs this year we're halfway there we're at 55,000. if this video helps you out just share it to your friends so starting off let's go ahead and go to the art gallery what, what is it called i think called like shooting gallery the art of shooting gym you want to go here so pull up your map once you pull it up just click r1 twice so boom boom and then art of shooting gallery just right here so i'm gonna go ahead and try to you know hike my way over there and yeah once we get in there we can start dribbling i gotta go across the world to get there bro all right so we just made it to the art the gallery what is it called the art of shooting gym art of shooting gym before we go in there i have to show you my sigs because once you're in there you can't change your sigs i'm on a guard i'm on a 6-3 guard if you're not 6-3 with a 95 ball handle you can't really get these sigs but i use Kyrie irving dribble style my opinion is the best if you can't get this you can use magic johnson and you get a really fast like push crossover with it but i got Kyrie. steve francis size up curry breakdown combo i don't even do that steve francis breakdown or aggressive breakdown combo don't do it trey escape and that's really all you need i guess james Harden crossover is nice um Trae Young's behind the back after recording this i found out you can use curry slide if you equip his behind the back which is pretty useful so with these sigs you'll be able to use steve francis cross Trey escape and curry slide which is pretty overpowered in my opinion darius garland hezzy or you can use curries and that's pretty much it everything else you really just don't need so i don't know take a minute copy these down and let's go ahead and get into dribbling all right so the first move i'm gonna teach you you need to know it and it's just the regular tray cross into a steve francis so boom just like that and in this game if you do the tray crossover you get an ankle breaker a lot. So all you want to do, just hold R2. I have the controller up on the screen. You just want to flick your right analog stick diagonally up right or left and boom. So just like that. And right after that, just flick without holding R2. You want to flick the opposite way and you get Steve Francis crossover. So boom, just like that. And I don't think you can spam it like last year. Yeah, you can't really spam it like last year. Never mind. You definitely can spam it. It's just a little bit harder because this game, the dribbling is a little bit different. But as long as you figure out how to do the initial one, that oh, the boom, boom like that, you can get open and find a lot of shots. The next like three moves, three, four moves I'm gonna teach y'all is the misdirections. And in this game, they're not that good, but when you combo them up, they're extremely good. Here's behind the back one. You can spam it just like this. It's really not hard to do, but if you try to sprint out of it, you're gonna get a really slow animation. So it's gonna look like that. So whenever you wanna run out of it, you don't wanna, you know, just, just run out of it like that. Normally you wanna do like a misdirection then a crossover. So you get an actual speed boost. The next misdirection is gonna be the sidestep one. So it looks like that, but once again, you can't run out of it. So you just wanna do a crossover after. So last misdirection is gonna be the crossover one. And it looks like that. I think you can spam it. I, I really don't know. I'm not good at spamming it, but I'm teaching you how to do all three and they're very easy and very similar to learn how to do. Right, so getting to the first misdirection, the behind the back one, it's really easy to do. If the ball's in your right hand, you want to hold R2 the entire time and you want to flick your right analog stick diagonally down left and hold your left analog stick diagonally down right. So they're crossing each other. It's a misdirection. So it should look like that simple and so like i kind of canceled out the animation if you like if you hold down on your left stick to the right it's gonna like cancel out the animation so it's gonna look like that if you don't hold down it's just gonna play out the whole animation like that once again balls in your right hand hold r2 flick your right analog stick dangling down left left analog stick dangling down right boom just like that so like i said if you ever want to speed boost out of this move you actually want to do like a crossover after it so like that because if you just try to run once again it's just way too slow so getting to the second misdirection you actually don't have to hold r2 so if the ball is in your right hand you want to flick your right analog stick straight across to the right same ball hand in your left analog stick that agonally down left so it should look like that so look at the hand cam if i'm ever explaining anything wrong and i always hold my left analog stick down so it looks like that. Once again, if you do want to speed boost out of it, do a crossover after because just doing the normal animation is just way too slow. And I don't know why it's like that in this game. And finally, with the last misdirection, it's the front one. This one you do want to have to hold R2 for. So you want to hold R2, the ball's in your right hand again. You want to flick your right analog stick diagonally up left and your left analog stick diagonally down right. So it should 
look like that oh snap look like that there you go so once you learn how to do them they're really easy and these are things that you need to know if you want to be able to combo when you're comboing up you're probably going to be doing all three of them at the same time so like you see this like i'm doing all the moves that i just showed you so those are the three misdirections i'm gonna teach you how to do snatchbacks because you need to know how to do them in this game so with the six that i have this is what it looks like and it looks actually like really cool like really glitchy too you know you do snatchbacks anytime you just need to like recover or you know just reset the possession and i think some people they do snatchbacks in my career to get separation from the ais so to do this move you want to make sure you're holding r2 and if the ball's in your right hand you want to flick your right analog stick that angling up to the left and your left analog stick straight down not no no diagonal just straight down so it should look like this boom really easy and so like i'm saying you flick your left hand line stick down you really like hold it down for like a second so simple as that if the ball's in your left hand you know you flick your right analog stick diagonally up right and you hold your left analog stick down for like a second so boom just like that really easy and so as you've seen you can spam them to like you know get separation and if you let the full animation play out he actually gets more space so if i start right here and i let the full animation play out he actually backed out to that three-point line so and if you can't figure out how to do um snatchbacks like that if you just hold r2 and flick straight down on your right stick sometimes you get the same animation so boom you either get it behind the back or you get you get the step back so simple but it's a lot easier controlling which way you're gonna do a snatch bag when you do it like this so now that you know how to do snatch bags now i'm gonna teach you how to do step backs which is really easy just flick straight down and so i think this is the kimba walker step back and once again it's just another thing that can just like reset you whenever you're dribbling you know gather your thoughts plan out what you're gonna do next and boom see it's really easy literally you just flick down it's not like last year how you could spam it like once you do it once you have to cool down for a little bit but yeah that's the kimball walker step back i think is it called that i think it's called that all right the next move is gonna be the sidestep hezzy and bro it's broken look at this you just instantly speed boost out of nothing i kind of messed up so boom just like that all you want to do hold r2 and flick to the same ball hand side and you get that little animation you can just run straight out of it so boom boom i mean it's it's broken and if you flick straight across you get you know that side step and can run out of it if you flick diagonally up you get a different animation like that and you can still sprint out of it like it's they're both extremely fast so that's the side step hezzy in this game that's probably the most overpowered speed boost in the game right now because you literally sprint out of nothing it's like the stop and go from last year but on steroids so i don't do it too much but whenever someone's playing up really high on me boom you just hit that oh my god very broken next move is going to be the park spin or I, I always call it the park spin and this is what it looks like it's just you know a little park spin and one type mixtape spin just like that and i really only do this move like out of a triple threat so like i'll do the little speed boost and then straight into the spin like that it's just a move that looks cool and to do it if the ball is in your right hand you want to rotate your right analog stick clockwise and pull your left analog stick diagonally down to the left so it should look like that really easy if the ball is in your left hand you want to rotate your right analog stick counterclockwise and pull your left analog stick diagonally down to the right so just like that really easy it's not a move that's really going to get you open but whenever you do it straight out of the triple threat so like this ah oh, crap i messed up so like this it'd be catching people off guard because they most people don't do it but yeah that's a little park spin you can just show your friends how to do it so that's a park spin and now i'm gonna teach y'all how to momentum and this is what momentum looks like it's the same every year you can spam it it's the easy momentum and that's like the base to like all your dribbling combos everything you do is probably going to be out of a momentum so to do it you just want to hold r2 flick your right analog stick that angling up left and your left analog stick dangling up left as well so boom just like that really easy pretty much whichever way you're going you just want to flick both your analog sticks that same way so i'm going to go to the right boom right analog stick dangling up right left analog stick dangling up right diagonally up right so just like that just like that it's really easy if you want to spam it you just do it back and forth back and forth back and forth very easy to do so now that you know the momentum now i'm gonna teach you how to do the glitchy between the legs which is just like this it's very similar to it so instead of flicking both of your analog sticks diagonally up to whichever side you want to go now you just want to flick them straight across to whichever side you want to go so the ball's in my right hand i'm gonna flick my right analog stick straight to the left and then my left analog stick straight to the left so it should look like that boom if the ball's in my left hand i'm gonna do the same thing opposite way so boom just like that if you want to spam it just go back and forth back and, oh there we go just like that like it's so similar to a momentum that you're probably going to do momentums on accident but yeah that's the glitch between the legs it's just like last year the dribbling is pretty similar to last year's dribbling almost exactly like it so now that you know how to do momentum and the glitch between the legs i'll finally teach you how to do the steve francis spam and it looks just like this and in my opinion it's a lot easier than last year's doing it or last year's way of doing it but all it takes is four flicks of your analog sticks and you'll be able to do it so the first flick you want to flick your right analog stick diagonally upright so you get the crossover boom the next flick the 
the second flick, you want to flick your left analog stick diagonally down to the left so it cancels out of that Steve Francis. So when you just do the normal Steve Francis, that's what it looks like, the full animation. When you cancel out of it, flicking your left analog stick diagonally down left, it looks like that. You see how it's a lot faster, it's a lot quicker. Boom. And so now the ball's in my other hand, so I just want to do the same thing, but going the opposite way. So I'm gonna flick my right analog stick diagonally up left, cancel out with my left analog stick going diagonally down right. So boom, just like that. And you literally just spam it. One, two, three, four. Simple as that. That's all you have to do. And you just spam it over and over and over again. Depending on how fast you do it, depends on how fast he's your player's gonna move. So once again, you just do a crossover. Boom, and to cancel that cross or to like speed up that animation, you just flick your analog, or you hold for a second your left analog stick that same way you just came from. So like that, and then you just spam it going both ways. Very easy. I hope I explained that good. I have a hand cam to help you out. I wouldn't really recommend doing that move though because it takes up a lot of stamina. And unless you've done your Gatorade drills, your player is gonna be gasping for air. So that's how you do it though. It's really easy. If you do need help, just drop in the comments and I'll try to respond to y'all. All right, so that's really all the moves. I mean, there's not too much in this game. I mean, it's season one, so we don't know everything, like all the exploits yet. But if you just figure out how to do each move individually and you learn to combo them up, chain them together, you'll be perfectly fine and you'll have no problem getting open in stage, park, rec, ones, whatever you play. So yeah, that's it. Now they just got to fix this jump shot stuff because you can't hit a shot for your life in this game. <laughs> All right, y'all, so that does do it for this video. Hopefully this helped y'all out. If you do need any help, ask in the comments or even search up other people's videos because I know I don't do the best job explaining at times. Or hearing it in someone else's way might help you out. So if you're new here, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe. Let's try to hit that 100,000 subs. For now, it's been your boy GP3, man. I'm out, y'all. Peace.